Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I will be making some dolma uh, using these uh, flowers. This is a, a courgette plant. Um, I don't know if you can see there on that one. There's a courgette underneath that flower. Now that one we won't be cutting. But the ones that, the flowers that grow with no courgettes attached to it, we will be picking these up and we'll be stuffing these. So these are the ones that we can take. That one's really good. So they're the ones that we can take, but that one where it's got um, courgette un grown underneath, we won't touch that one. So on this one here again, if I can show you, uh, let's have a look. This one again, there's no um, courgette attached to it, so we'll take that. Uh, these are the courgettes that. So these are the courgettes. Uh, We've got a few more flowers here to pick. As long as they're not attached to a courgette, they're okay to take. So we just take them right from, clip them from here. You have to pick these very early in the morning as they then soon close up. And once they close up, then you can't really open them up to stuff them. Now, I don't know if you can see this one here. It's not open yet, but uh, there's a courgette growing underneath. So once that flower does open, we won't be taking that one. We're going to leave it to become a courgette. just want to show you. Here we've got a courgette. Uh, and we've got a little one growing. So once that opens, because there's a courgette attached to it, we won't be t taking that one, but like the one that has no courgette, we just um, take them like so. Aren't they beautiful? Like that. So, we'll pick all these ones here, and then I will show you. And can you see there's a, a bee inside that flower? Well, bees absolutely love these, so. I'm sorry, mate. Is this attached? No, so we'll just take these. So we'll just pick these up early in the morning. Sometimes they come up as like twins. This, this is a twin. Again, there's no courgette. And yet on this one, there is a courgette growing. So we won't be taking that one. We'll leave that one alone. And we'll just continue taking the ones that has no courgette attached to them. They are absolutely beautiful. If you've got fresh mint, we're just going to cut some fresh mint as well. And that goes really nice with this um, dolma that we're going to be making. And I've got some parsley. I'll just go and get some parsley as well. And we'll get some fresh parsley as well. So now that we've picked all our flowers, our parsley and mint, um, we're not going to be using the courgettes, but I will make another recipe with using the courgettes for you one day. 
we'll go ahead and I will show you step by step how we prepare these, um, the filling that we'll make and how we go ahead and make these. Okay, next we get our mixture ready. So I have washed um, rice, there's quite a bit here. But what I tend to do, as the flowers come up on a daily basis, so each day you're having to pick up these um, flowers, what I tend to do is make a, an extra uh, filling and then keep it in the fridge. And every day as I pick my flowers, I would then um, make them up and put them in a saucepan and, and put in the fridge or I put them in containers and put them in the freezer. So <clears throat> then I've got one large onion chopped up and we've chopped up our parsley and mint. With the mint, you only want the leaves. <clears throat> so you'll only be chopping up the leaves, not the stalk itself, okay? So I've got some chopped up parsley and mint here. So you want to put all that in as well. Uh, tomato puree, quite a bit of it. So more like a two tablespoon of tomato puree into this mixture. We've got chopped up uh, tomatoes. So plenty of tomato, there's like tin tomatoes chopped up. <clears throat> you want olive oil. So generous amount of olive oil. One um, lemon squeezed, one lemon juice. If you don't have any uh, fresh mint, not to worry, because you do uh, use dry mint in here as well. So dry mint and then you just put your seasoning so I've got salt here black pepper and I like to use chili flakes so a little bit of chili flakes and then this is our mixture what we do now is just go ahead and give it a good mix. So with mix, you're now ready to prepare your flowers and fill them in. But ideally you would make this first of all, before picking your flowers. And so it's all nice and ready. I just wanted to show you. So this is our mixture now ready. Now to prepare our flowers. As I said, the way to keep them open, <clears throat> you could um, put them in a bag like so and then just turn it like so and you could tie that up and put it in the fridge to help them uh, stay a bit more open a bit, lot, a bit more longer but I tend to pick them up every day early in the morning I get my mixture ready and um, so all I do is just fill them up and then I can um, freeze them like so, so I just make them up, put them in containers and then I will freeze them and just take them out whenever I want to cook them. So now I'm just going to um, show you how you would um, prepare them. You've got obviously the long stalk that we've um, cut them up so you just need to make sure you just get rid of that. And then you've got these pointy bits and all you want to do is flip them over and break them up like so and then in the middle you've got this center which the bees absolutely love and you just want to put your um, thumb and point finger and just cut it up like so so you want to get rid of this because this is bitter um, sometimes, yeah, as you're trying to do that, you do split them on the side, but not to worry. <clears throat> you just won't overfill it that way. So this is now prepared um, to be washed and filled. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll just do um, another one. Again, if there's any uh, long bits, you just want to cut that off and just cut these off. And then in the middle, 
you want to just cut that bit off so that's all you need to do so now these are ready to be washed so I'm going to do that with all of them before washing them because as I wash them individually as I washed it <clears throat> I'll be able to just uh, fill it in so I'm just going to go ahead and clean them all up and then we can then wash and fill them up so I shall do that with all of them it's that bit is the um, bitter bit so you just want to cut that bit off with the twins sometimes you get them like this they're twins you just got to be very careful sometimes um, you can attach them I mean as you can see that one's quite easy to be attached but sometimes they're stuck together in that case you would just fill them up both stuck together it wouldn't be a problem but that, that was quite easy to break it up so okay so I've cleaned them all up now now you get your mixture ready and you want to get your container or your saucepan ready so as soon as you wash them one by one you fill it up and put it straight into your saucepan or container you do need to wash them because um, you do get little flies in them sometimes um, so you just make sure I've got a bowl underneath and just and if you just wash it inside like so making sure that all the leaves are washed And then as soon as you wash them, you just want to and then all you do is you just um, fold these leaves over, crisscrossing them. like so so that's how you would um, wrap them up and then you want to just put them straight into your saucepan or into a container now these were done yesterday um, and today's one once I have today's ones I will be cooking that I'll have some mixture left over um, and then tomorrow as I pick them up again I shall make them and put them in a container to freeze them so pick it about between 20 to 30 uh, flowers a day so I have been giving away some to some friends who'd like to make their own but because they come out every day I make them and put them in containers and then we can eat them whenever we want when they're not in season they're lovely to have um, at picnics um, you know, a bit of potato salad or something like that next to it, perfect. Uh, this was one of them that was split on the side so you just be careful um, not to overfill it and sort of like try and close that bit more so and there you have it you want to um, push it against one of the others so that they don't open up but you just go ahead and just um, put into your saucepan like so so I shall continue 
washing as you can see they're starting to close up so you do need to act on them quickly as soon as you pick them up make sure your mixture is ready beforehand and that way as soon as you pick them up you just wash and um, fill them up so I shall continue making these and then I'll come back okay I finished wrapping them up I've still got quite a bit left over but like I said I pick my flowers on a daily basis so tomorrow when I pick them up I shall um, just put them in the container and these are wrapped from yesterday and today so two days of flowers here and what we're going to do now is um, put them on to cook and you just need to get a plate that will cover them water as soon as you put them on and it comes to um, boil you just want to turn it down on a low heat and simmer away and cook them. So you just slightly cover them up. Maybe just a little bit more. Slightly cover them up, put the lid on. As soon as um, it comes to a boil, you want to turn it down on a low heat and cook it for roughly about half an hour until all that juice is gone. You just tip your um, saucepan like so and then you'll be able to see that there's no juice left and then they're cooked. And they are delicious, so let's cook them. So half an hour later, if you tilt your um, saucepan, you can see that the juice is almost gone. If you take the lid off, the plate off, you can see that they are cooked. And there you have it, they're all nicely cooked. So give it about 10 minutes or so to cool down and then what you want to do, well you can dish it up from the saucepan obviously, but I just want to tip it upside down just to show you. And so here we are. I just um, get hold of it and just eat it like so. It's a bit hot at the moment, but I just wanted to show you how they are. Absolutely delicious. You eat the whole thing because we've now taken that uh, the sensor out. Honestly, it's just so lovely. So if you've got any courgettes, go ahead and try some. Or if you ever go to a restaurant or somewhere that they've got some, uh, give it a try. They are delicious. Mm. I love it so I hope that was helpful sharing this from um, you know step by step from the start picking up the flowers making the inside filling uh, washing and filling them up and cooking them and that's all there is to it so thank you for watching until next time guys take care bye bye for now